Hey folks, here's a lesson for baritone ukulele on brain damage into Eclipse by Pink Floyd. We're going to start with the D chord here. We got a simple little picking pattern, but it takes a little bit of concentration here to get it just right. So we got the big string with the thumb, the little string. Basically, we have a finger on each string. That's how we pull off these finger picking things. So we're doing the big one and the little one at the same time. And then we have these two. Okay. Then we go big, little, and back to that third string. Okay, so that's a main pattern in this whole tune, so we really want to get that good. Okay, we're ready to go with that. So our next chord is going to be the G7, where we just play that one on the bottom there. But we're still going to be using all these strings in that same finger picking pattern. So let's try those two together, nice and slow. Two, three, four. two frets. Now we're going to bar this the twos here and get a three on the bottom. Part of A7. D. So that's probably the most complicated part of the song right there. So let's look at all that one more time. Three from D through all those changes. We're gonna, we'll just do the D to the G seven twice. You gotta listen to the song, play along with the song, and see how the exact arrangement goes. But these are your main things. So we got three, four. And then as we move on in the song, we got. So let's look at that strum. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. Okay, one more time. Three, four. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. G. Similar to strum A. Now you can't do that A with one finger sometimes. You get a two, two, two still happening with that one finger there if you get that good bend on it or you can hit that kind of traditional type A there. So let's go over the G again. Three, four. To the A. Going to C. Back to G. G again. A. B minor, going to E minor, going to A, the twos of that A, and back to the D. Okay, so let's look at all that again. G7, D. Now later in the song, when he goes up here, he says they made the raise the blade and made the change. It's like they changed the bass note. 
because now he doesn't have that tension in him anymore because they gave him the lobotomy it's kind of deep <laughs> okay so anyway um at the last verse of the song you can add that that's an e with the e bass back to our a7 and then the d riff That's a tricky one. It's hard to even explain that one. Just I try to do it slow. It's a tough one. Okay, so anyway, moving into... Those are all the parts, basically, of brain damage. Now, moving into Eclipse. So there for Eclipse, we go into a series of six-note phrases. One, two, three, four, five, to the C. Two, three, four, five, to the B flat, which is three, 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 one the A or A7. Then we continue that. So D, 4, 5, 6, C, B flat, A or A7, D, C count, B flat. And it keeps doing that until it gets to the last one. You got your D, C, and you got your B flat, and it kind of slows down, and then you don't go to the A or A7, you go back to the D. Finish it off. Brain Damage Eclipse by Pink Floyd. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Um, like and subscribe for more. I'm Damon Wood. We'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.